be one of the challenge days of the health challenge. They call it a challenge because, well, this uh, being skinny and slimmer and healthier wasn't a challenge to me, then I wouldn't be in a health challenge. The holidays, like I've said before, can bring some challenges in that tonight is our company Christmas party. Usually Christmas parties are the times when you just kind of let go, eat a bunch of food. Uh, everything's centered around food. Every time you celebrate, it seems to be centered around food. Food is always involved when your birthday party, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, obviously, and then I mean, even in um, death, at wakes, you bring a lot of food, uh, you cook a lot of food for the families that are experiencing the, the loss, which I understand, I get it, it helps, but it just seems like everything's centered around food. We're gonna see, we're gonna be good all day. I'm gonna attack this by not by still eating a good, healthy meal as much as I can at the restaurant we're going to. And I'm not going to do any crazy drinking or anything like that because I have a end goal in mind for the week and for this challenge and for the rest of my life. So um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, dentist appointment today. Not the most fun thing to do, but a necessary thing to do. Hello. Good, how are you? Real good. We'll be out in just a minute. All right, thank you. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. I'm all better now. I had forgotten today. Did I know that I had a luncheon today? I forgot. I think I'd forgotten today that I have a lunch meeting, which means I don't have control necessarily over what I have for lunch. These are when it can get interesting. And I know these, some of these things, for some of you guys, you're probably watching this, you're thinking this is so trivial. What is so trivial about not being in control for what you're having for lunch? Well, because it can make me make unwise choices. It's free food and I don't know what it's gonna be. I have to, I have to be conscious about, I'm being more conscious about what I choose to eat. And when the choice is kind of taken away from me, um, because it's a lunch meeting, it's for work, so I have to make sure um, that I make better choices. So do I eat a smaller portion if it's bad food? How do I keep myself from going overboard when it's really good, really, and it's really free, when it's free food and good food? Unless you're a person that's been overweight, you don't understand these types of things that go on on your head. If you're watching this video and you're like, what the heck, what is the big deal? Then you don't understand. You don't have that same challenge that I have. But if you're someone that's overweight and has some issues with your eating and things like that, you'll know what I'm going through. You want, you'll understand. You'll understand why this is presented as a challenge for me when I have to go to a luncheon or a lunch meeting. So let's go see what we get. So it looks like we're getting food from the restaurant. Yeah, I do video all over the place. <laughs> I did good. I had my burger with no buns. Had some sauteed mushrooms and onions. So, good to go. Good job on the lunch, Bobby. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Good job. So, I'm home from work. And this morning I told you that I would work out. Long day. A little bit of a headache but ellipticals upstairs and I have no excuses. Plenty of time before the Christmas party. So let's go. I did it, Whew. about 34, 35 minutes. It's a weird time because uh, I was watching some YouTube videos and I wanted to finish this one particular video. So it's kind of, I knew I was gonna do at least a half hour, but it went over because of the YouTube video. So yay. So one thing that, something I learned, well, I've always known, I didn't learn today, but I applied it. 
was that, you know, you can make all kinds of excuses. This morning I went in early because I needed to get some stuff done because I knew I had a dentist appointment. Um, I couldn't exercise at lunch because I had a lunch meeting. Um, when I came home from work, I could have been, you know what, I'll skip a day. I could have said that. But I made the choice to at least get 30 minutes of exercise. And so I guess my point is, is that it's a choice you have to make. Sometimes it's easier than other days to make that choice, but it's a choice you have to make. There was a pastor at a church we used to go to in Bartlesville. He would say, and I don't know if he made this up or he borrowed it from somebody, but he said, everybody has the same 24 hours in a day. So for you to say you don't have time is an excuse because everybody has the same amount of time in the day it's just adjusting your priorities, making sure you make time to exercise, make time to prepare your meals, make time to eat better, make time for yourself. So if there's some things you have to give up, like watching a TV show, you have to decide what's a priority and go with those choices. And today my priority was getting in 30 minutes of exercise. And now my priority is to get a shower and get ready to go to a Christmas party. So I don't know if you can hear me, but I ended up getting salmon and some veggies. So and a salad. So we'll see how that tastes when it comes out. You ask me what I got. Ask me what, what I got. What did you get, Steve-o? Con uh, chicken fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Score. You know, what's funny is that when you, when you decide to eat better, it's like food becomes the center of the conversation. You ever notice that, Jamie? I do. When you became like, what, cause oh, yeah. it's, it's weird because it's almost as if uh, probably it's me. It's almost as if other people feel guilty that you're eating better. <laughs> and then and then when you start talking about how you're making better choices, you almost vilify what everybody else is doing. You're like, I don't, you know, do what you want to do. Just because I choose not to have French fries doesn't mean you're a bad person. I just choose not to have French fries. <laughs> The party's over, Christmas party's over. I survived it, did really well. Got my salmon and veggies. It was pretty good, salmon was pretty good. Um, and fish is always good for you. So, like I said before, it's all about choices. The choices you make. Um, I had a good time still. I didn't have to get junk food or, or something that was he too heavy or high calorie or you know unhealthy, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it, can, it comes down to choices you make um, when it comes to working out and doing activity, trading time for something else, taking care of yourself, and then of course picking the right food. Everything comes down to choices. The choices you make and the consequences that are there from the choices. The consequences of not exercising and not eating right is you're unhealthy the consequence of making the right choices of what you eat and the consequence of deciding to exercise is that you live a healthier life. All right, so this isn't gonna be the healthiest thing to do. But I wanna do the jelly bean game. You guys understand the jelly bean game? You spin the wheel, I think I'm showing you right now, you spin the wheel and then you get a flavor and it's either a good flavor or it's a bad flavor. So I want to see what I get. That's toothpaste. Are you on? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm good. We had another party. This butter, popcorn. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is either butter, popcorn, or what was it? Uh, I can't remember. Butter, popcorn. 